welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I've been gone for like three weeks. I have a good excuse for that though. My new computer, which is a hand-me-down but not too old, it's two years old, sadly just won't turn on. And sadly, Apple is closed across the country, so I have to wait for them to open for me to get that taken care of. So all the videos I was almost done editing are now all gone, but it's okay. Things happen, we have to move on from those things because there's bigger things happening in the world than just a video being deleted. So I hopefully will be able to get it back. If not, it's all good. There will be more videos that I can film and those videos weren't like my pride and joy of filming. They're just like fun little vlogs. So there will be more fun little vlogs in the future. But right now I have a fun DIY for you and you guys really wanted me to film a tutorial on it. So I was like, yes, why not? So I did document the process of me creating my very first pair of DIY painted jeans and they turned out so so well and you'll see how they turn out at the end of this video but as of right now I want to show you how I did it and walk you through the steps because it's super easy super cheap and it's a great way to repurpose an old pair of jeans or a new pair of jeans whatever kind of jeans you want or even any type of fabric pants that you want or shirt or whatever the heck you want to paint on it's a great way to make it extra cool and you don't need to be an artist to do it as well you just need to know how to trace you know that's something that you just got to learn and if you know how to use a pencil got it already. So there's only four things that you need for this DIY project. You need something to trace your outline of your pattern with and I am not actually using a pencil or pen. I'm using an eyeliner because it's easier to wash off in the wash when you are all done with your project and have waited three days for the paint to sufficiently dry and then you can wash it and the eyeliner it is a pencil eyeliner so it's nothing too crazy and nothing too permanent at all this one's a light brown i only traced it lightly with this and it has come off totally cleanly it's not there anymore but the paint is which is what we want so you need a pencil eyeliner or something that can be easily removed because tracing your outline is probably the best thing to do to make sure that the outcome of your project is what you desire. You're gonna need a pair of jeans, a paintbrush that is of the brush size that you want your strokes to be. I'm using this one right here, you can see it. I don't know the inches, but it's like, is that a centimeter? Maybe a centimeter? And lastly, you're gonna want some fabric paint. This is the only thing I bought for this DIY because this is $5 from Amazon. I'll be linking it down below. It's by the brand Tulip and it's very nice, it's very good, it does its trick, and it came out quite quickly. I know that it is not an essential item right now, but it does help you essentially cure your boredom. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna lay your jeans on a flat surface, one that hopefully will not get stained. Next, grab your pen, pencil, or eyeliner like I'm using, and outline your design. This does not need to be perfect because you can always make creative decisions once you actually get into painting the project. If you need help on inspiration, I'll add some photos at the end of this video to help inspire you. Okay, so getting into the painting part is kind of tricky because it depends on what kind of brush that you're using. That's why I'm really grateful that I used this brush because it can either be thick or thin depending on what side you're painting with. So with my design, I made sure to give myself enough space to work in between the lines. So as you could tell, there are various different forms and shapes on my pants, but for my design, I wanna still keep it clean while also portraying a very bold and intricate design. If you want to have a very tightly woven design, you do you. For me, I really wanted to keep it nice and clean, just in case I wanted to pair it with a busier top. So when painting your pants, you don't really want to focus on getting it to be a solid color. That will come in the various layers that you're going to put over this one. As you can see, there are some rips in my jeans and I'll just bring the line all the way up to them just so it looks like one cohesive line throughout the whole entire pant. I didn't follow the whole entire pattern through to the back of the pant. Instead, I just made a small accent piece on the back left hand pocket and I think it looks really nice and clean. Although it's a smaller space for me to do a design on, I wanted to give the design a little bit of a different abstract look than I did the front of the jeans. So although it is still an abstract face, I gave it some hair and I gave it some rosy cheeks and it looks like more of a fully formed face. So I did three layers total. My first layer was this one, the initial layer. The second one is to bolden the color, and the third is to perfect it. I'd wait about an hour in between coats just to make sure the layer underneath is completely dry. And then you're done. Okay guys, 
here is the finished product. I am obsessed with how these turned out and if I could do them to every single pair of jeans on my own, I would. I'm just obsessed with how this turned out. It was so easy, so quick. The whole entire time, including drying time, is like three days but that's before you wash it and then it'll be all good but like the complete time of me putting my time into it not the drying time included is about maybe less than an hour i really did not take that long to do these and the reason that i said three days is because the paint says on the bottle not to wash the fabric that you just painted on within 72 hours just to make sure that the paint is completely dry but my jeans were dry by the end of uh, I think two hours so I didn't wash them right away but I definitely did wear them right away and it just looks so fantastic I love how it turned out and you guys really really loved it as well <laughs> and that made me so happy to know that you guys like this DIY and I want to say a huge thank you to this user right here from Twitter she was the one who inspired me to do this DIY mainly because she found a photo online and so she sent it to me and she's like this is totally something that you would do and I'm like oh my god you're right so thank you so much for giving me the inspiration and if you guys like this style of jean but don't want to do it yourself I'll be opening up my commissions for painted jeans very very soon on my Instagram account so definitely go tune in there it'll be only for a limited time only and only for a certain amount of quantity because of course this is not my full-time job but I do really love doing it and I really want to do it for you guys so stay tuned for that over on my page at Sasha Allsberg. And if you guys want to see more DIYs, please let me know by commenting down below. I would love to know what you want to see me do next. I love art, I love design, and I love compiling my favorite passions and my loves into one. And this is me doing that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.